Godsmack vocalist Sully Erna is closing out work on his autobiography, which will take readers from Erna's life growing up poor in Boston right up until the band's success. Erna talked about what people could expect from the book. Um, I think they can expect it not to be the cliché um, rock star autobiography. It, it's not about trashing hotel rooms and about how many girls we've and about how many drugs we've done. It's about from the time I was born and a little bit about my history there <clears throat> um, up until I got a record deal and uh, how it how I got from point A to point B. The Godsmack singer said that he hoped his story would be an inspiration to others who weren't born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Uh, hopefully to shed some light on people that maybe are still living a uh, tough life in the ghettos and stuff like that, like I was raised. I was raised very poor. Um, that if you have some kind of passion or art or, you know, something in your life that um, you really believe in, you can get you know, out of these hard times or whatever, and there's something to look forward to because we're not all born rich rock stars or actors or actresses, and we were no different than you and get into fights and in gangs or doing drugs or breaking and entering or whatever it was that the streets kind of taught me. Um, but, you know, there's a, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's just a son of a bitch getting there. Godsmack continues to sell albums. Their latest effort, Four, debuted on the Billboard 200 album chart last week, and their first single, Speak, still stands at the top of the active rock radio chart.